this time we're in the workshop because look what we've got. We've got an Arikazan Eco Mini wood pallet stove. Burns wood pallets. It's fantastic. Let me tell you all about it. So right now it's working. It has this panel on the front. This is the uh, temperature of the, the water that's leaving the furnace. This little worm screw down here is showing that the pellets are coming up here with an Archimedes screw and then dropping, you can hear them dropping into the burner. If you just peek in here, you can see a few flames. So you fill up this hopper, it'll take 210 kilograms of these, which are dehydrated, very dry wood pellets made locally here in France by lots of people. It either uses uh, offcuts or recycled wood, and it's um, very calorific and makes almost no ash. Good stuff. So this hopper holds up to 210 kilograms, and it feeds from the bottom up here with one worm screw, and then it drops under gravity into the burner where there's another screw, and you can see this working here, screw two. You see screw one will come on occasionally as it's sucking it in from the hopper, and screw two is feeding it into the actual flame box. But there's tons of really cool bits of modern technology to make this beast work. One of my favorite parts is this. What this box does with the down arrow is the furnace heats itself up and then just cycles the hot water back down into the furnace until it reaches an optimum operating temperature at 55 Celsius. This flips and lets the hot water up into our old water mill heating system so it's already preheated. So at present, it's absolutely stone cold. So this is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And then you'll hear this go click. And then the water will go up into the radiators. One of the things that everybody asks is how many pellets does it use? Well, the computer on the front tells you exactly. When it first initializes and powers up, it can use up to three kilograms of pellets an hour. Well, these bags weigh probably 15 kilograms and you'll go through, you know, a bag a day. But when it's on and running, it modulates the burner. So it fires it on, fires it off, and then it just uses far less. It just trickles the pellets in to keep the setting that you've put on the thermostat upstairs in the living room. What we used to do is have this plastic oil tank in the back of the workshop that would hold two and a half thousand liters of heating oil. But with the pellet stove, you can buy a bag of pellets and just bung them in. And a bag of pellets here in France is about under five euros. So feeling cold, got five euros, oh yeah bung it in the pellet stove. So here's some details of the touchscreen panel. This is showing you the temperatures. It's showing you how much fuel that you've got left. Here it's showing you the level of the flame and back to the temperature. Now I'd never heard of the Arikizan company in Turkey. So if you're interested in one of these Arikizan boilers, Watch this. This is a behind the scenes promotional video made by them at the Arikizan factory in Turkey.
So let's actually have a look at how wood pellets are made. They come from a sustainable wood source. The pre-dried wood is chopped up. and dried in a large rotating oven. Then hammered into a fine powder And finally put through the pelleting extrusion mill. These have a thick metal sheet with holes that turns the wood into noodles. This produces lots of heat which can often be used by the processing plant. The pellets are bagged up or put in a truck that delivers to your house and blows the pellets into your hopper using compressed air. That's how pellets are made. So here it is. The new pellet burner. We love it. It's a really good investment. It's good for the environment. It wasn't very expensive and in the long run, using locally sourced dried pellets as fuel, it's going to save us and the world tons.